In this video, you will learn 11 plus non-verbal reasoning type 6, grab the vertical code. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we have three shapes and three two letter codes. Our job is to find what each of these letters mean. And once we've done that, we can use it to find the code for the shape on the right. So let's look at the first letter for each of the code, which is K, S and M. As you guys could see, all three of these letters are different. So this means there is something different about all three of these shapes. And it is obviously the shape itself. The first shape, we have a circle. The second shape, we have a star. And on the third shape, we have a pentagon. The shape on the right is a star so this means it must start with an S and we can write it down. So as a result, we can cross off C, D and E because they don't start with an S. So we're now left with A and B. Let's have a look at the second letter. The second letter is F, F and P. As you guys could see, we have same letter repeating twice. So this means we have something in common between the circle and the star. And it is obviously the number of dots. So in the circle, we have three dots. And in the star, we also have three dots. So this means F has three dots. And in this shape, P means you have four dots. The shape on the right, we have four dots. So this means our second letter must be P. And we can write it down. SF, we can cross it off because it doesn't have a P. And we are left with B. So our answer to this question is B. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, rather than two letter codes, we have three letter codes. Other than that, we're going to do the same thing for this question. Let's have a look at the first letter, which is Y, X and X. As you guys could see, we have both of the same letter. This means that there's something common between these two shapes. The only thing that's common is the shape itself. They're both pentagons. So this means X must mean a pentagon and Y must mean a diamond. Over here on the right hand side, we have a diamond. So this means our shape must start with the Y. And we can write the Y so we can cross off the likes of C and D since they start with an X, not with a Y. Let's move on to the second letter, which is R, R and Q. We have two R's. This means there's something common between these two shapes. The only thing that's common between these two shapes is the fact that they have an outer shape and an inner shape. And this is the same for both of them. This means that if you have an outer and an inner shape, the middle letter is an R. But if you only have one shape, the middle letter is a Q. Over here on the right, we only have one shape, so the middle letter is going to be a Q. And we can write that above the diamond. So this means we can cross off the likes of A because it has YR, not YQ. So we are left with B and E. Let's move on to the third letter, which is U, T and O. For this, all three of them are different. So as you guys could see, the only thing that's different between all of them is the color. In the first one, we have a black in the inside. In the second one, we have a dotted pattern in the inside. In the third one, we have a blank in the inside. But on the shape on the right side, we have dotted pattern in the inside. So this means the last letter must be a T. And we can write that above the Y and the Q to give us an answer of YQT. So as a result, we can cross off E and circle B. So our answer to this question is B. I hope you guys understood everything. Now to learn more nonverbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.